Hello, and welcome to Reading with Reference. My name is Mary Bear Shannon. I'm a reference librarian at the Haverford Township Free Library. So during this really extraordinary time of upheaval and uncertainty, I find the constancy of books to be comforting. The power of stories can transport me from wherever I am and whatever I am thinking or doing to another place, even for a short time. Books can be a form of escapism, granted, but they can also help us to explore new worlds, new ideas, and new possibilities. They can also introduce us to a different perspective than our own. And I find that the book I, I'm talking about today definitely did that for me. So the book I'd like to tell you about is Angie Thomas's On the Come Up. This is her second book. Her first one was made into a major motion picture, The Hate You Give, that won a lot of awards, including the Coretta Scott King Award. Um, but On the Come Up is her second novel, written in 2019. So a little bit about this book. Uh, it, the main character is 16-year-old Brie, uh, and really one of her, her greatest dreams is to be the greatest, uh, one of the greatest rappers of all time, or just to make it out of her neighborhood one day. Uh, she is a daughter, she's the daughter of an underground rap uh, legend who died before he hit it big. And Brie has big shoes to fill. Uh, but now she's facing uh, the, the real challenge that her mother has unexpectedly lost her job. Um, and they're facing food banks and shut off notices, uh, which really becomes a big part of her life um, and much more than uh, beats and rhymes. Um, so with bills piling up and homelessness staring her family down, Bree no longer just wants to make it, she has to make it. So Angie Thomas, this is her real uh, homage to hip hop uh, that really sparked her passion for storytelling um, and it continues to inspire her to this day. Um, this really is a story of fighting for your dreams, uh, even when the odds are stacked against you, of struggle to become who you are and not just who everyone expects you to be, uh, and the desperate realities of poor and working class black families. This was a really important book for me to be reading right now, uh, with what has happened in the past few months in the wake of George Floyd's death, and then just recently this week, the shooting in Kenosha, Wisconsin, Hearing Bree's perspective was important for me. It gave me a very personal view into the realities of being Black in, in America. What also rang true for me was the experience of Bree as a woman, or as a, a girl, as a female, and the problem she runs into because she speaks her mind. Beyond the experience of being female, what was eye-opening for me was the experience of Black women and girls uh, they have in the both their own communities, their challenges there, and in the and in the, the wider world. It's clear that black girls and women have a particularly hard time if they show anger or speak up for themselves. The realities for black girls in schools are striking. Statistics show that black girls are six to seven times more likely than their counterparts to experience an out-of-school suspension. They are nearly three times more likely to be arrested on school campuses. Brie experiences this reality in her school, a performing arts magnet school that's located in Midtown, where she and her fellow students from the garden have to take a long bus ride to get to each morning. She is regularly suspended for what school officials call aggressive behavior, which sometimes is nothing more than rolling her eyes. She and her uh, others from her neighborhood are regularly targeted by security guards at her school. I highly recommend this book because it gives a perspective that is helpful to understand uh, during this extraordinary time when the issues of racial justice are being examined and discussed in a substantive way in the wake of the incidences these, this last spring. So I highly recommend it. It's an entertaining read. Um, and I also um, say that it, it really opened my eyes to a perspective that, you know, I, I couldn't have as a white woman in America. So um, you can get this here at the library. It is in our catalog. It is also, it's on the come up by Angie Thomas. Uh, you can also get it through Libby. 
Thanks a lot and have a great day.